Yo, what's up guys? Happy Alien Day. So here's what's up, man. About a year ago, me and her were at the park. We're in this place in Lawrenceville, Georgia called Treble Mill Park, right? It was about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. We go down there. It was a summer day. It was like the end of June or something like that. And we look up in the sky and we see this little orb that's glowing, but it's so high. It almost looks like it's in the stratosphere, like seriously. And this thing's just floating across the sky. But the thing is, it doesn't just move in like a linear path and it doesn't stay at a consistent speed. It swims almost like a fish in the water because it would move and accelerate and cut angles. And it really just had these really odd movements, kind of like a fish. And I'm thinking like drone, obviously. Like at first I'm thinking satellite. I'm thinking like maybe the satellite's so high in the air that, you know, based on the angle of the earth and the shadow that maybe the sun's catching it and it's aluminum. So therefore it's shining like up in the stratosphere and maybe it's disappearing because it like goes off the line of sight. Like I'm going through all these scenarios in my head, but one of these orbs that are just floating around turns into seven instantly. There's one and then it just turns into seven and then they all just float. And then the seven out of the seven, as, as they would want to, they would just disappear. And we watched these things for like 30, 45 minutes just floating around. And I don't know how high they were, but they seem like they were up in the stratosphere, did they not? They did. And they seem to be following the path of like planes. I'm 31 years old, so I've seen planes my whole life. I've seen ball lightning. My mom got hit with a piece of ball lightning in our living room, I swear to God. I mean, I've seen it all. I've never seen anything like this. And I've Me always either. been pretty open-minded, but since that day, it's completely broken my paradigm of like what's normal, what's not, because I know that in the government, people like Commander Fravor have came out. Like I'm pretty educated on the subject, right? Like I've heard Bob Lazar's uh, testimony before, you know, David Grush came forward. There's just so many people who talk about this subject. And the thing is, guys, if these are man-made and if there's a conspiracy, then that's a conspiracy in itself because so many people are lying. In which but, case, that's both dangerous. <laughs> well, it's weird too, because everyone who talks about this subject seems to be the same cast of characters. Yeah. Right. And it's one of those things that it didn't make sense to me that any of this was real, but it also didn't make sense to me that so many people were just blatantly lying and people in the Air Force and the Navy and all these people are lying. Right. And it doesn't make sense to me that so many people would significantly higher, I guess, like knowledge and they're in the know in a way that and me high and you are not. At that. Exactly. And so it's just really weird. So either there's some UFO stuff going on. Governments are trying to hide some technology that would seriously blow your mind. I'm talking zero point energy here. Like you know, no propulsion system, stuff like that. Dude, I don't know, man. It could be demons. I have no idea. I watch the subject. There's so many videos out there, guys, that of UFOs and stuff that, you know, and feel free to skip uh, through the video, guys. But there's so many videos out there, babe, that they can't all just be fake. Right. I mean, there's just no way. I mean, there's thousands of videos. I will say, though, when we did see that in the park, we did try to film it and it just was not catching it. So, yeah, it was too high and it was so too small. So that's one thing about the videos that maybe we will notice but these right. things these things were like so high in the air and they were going so fast and far and the reason we thought they were they high, just the reason we thought they were high was because we couldn't hear it though right we could not hear it no we couldn't of hear it of course yeah. but i couldn't record it it was so small it yeah. wouldn't show up on my cell phone it was bizarre guys it was like a star but that moved like every which way in the sky which was like it was strange it but was very strange honestly <laughs> that night was mind-blowing but the thing is is we've seen them about three times since then so yeah. there's been two instances on our back porch right here in winder you look up in the sky and lo and behold there's orbs that just move in ways that just don't make any sense. Any type of propulsion system I've ever seen. I mean, right. these things do what they want to. They seem to have a mind of their own. They move in ways. And the thing that I just don't understand is like, why are they there and what are they doing? Right. And but we have noticed um, the closer you kind of get to airports, which both places that we've seen things like that have been kind of close to airplanes. So it's kind of like airplanes attract them. Right. Well, there's a... There's a runway right there in Lawrenceville, in Lawrenceville, Georgia. I don't know what it's called. You guys can look it up. And then right here in Barrow County, you have the Barrow County Airport. And these things seem to follow the line of and the And they're planes. smaller airports, right? They're like not commercial. They're like private. But it's so I much think. deeper than that. I mean, you yeah. guys that are in the know with UFOs, you guys know it all correlates with this significantly bigger worldview. And I know all conspiracies do. Like, I get that, right? The thing is, is when you see these with your own two eyes, man, it really changes your everything that yeah. you think is going on. Like, I don't know, man. You guys know what I'm trying to say. You guys are smarter than me about it. But just so you know, I'm pretty in the know about the subject. You, you're pretty in the know, you know. But you've never seen this video. I've seen this video. And we're going to talk about which one of these are fake. So like, comment, subscribe if you like this type of content. We usually do like comedy and stuff because we try to keep it like lighter over here. But it's alien day, baby. So let's go. And it's my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. So maybe baby. I'm an alien. So there's certain types of UFOs though, right? Oh, there's all kinds of UFOs. I mean, I think a lot of them are just obviously government made drones and surveillance systems and experiments. I would classify what we saw as a Tic Tac, not like this. Is this real or fake? Real, right? I thought it was a black balloon that got lost. 
That's a tic tac. You think that's water right there? Yeah, it's water. Definitely real, right? Could be fake. That, that that's what that, we see. But not the green lights. Yeah, you see how it's moving how it wants to? Yeah. But but the but guys, what we saw didn't necessarily even move like that. Like this thing would stop, it would go, it would stop, and then go this way, and then float, yeah. and then stop, and then go slow. That's why it gave me that theory, that crazy theory I had, but you know, that's why, because it was be, like wherever it wanted. We'll see, you know that I have this little inclination mm -hmm. that I just don't understand why it would be a UFO, why it would move like that, why it would be there, and what its purpose would be. So in my mind, dude, like it could be a demon, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just saying? think they're like, playing, I think they're just playing with the planes. They're seeing who can touch it or something. She's joking, of course. She's more scientific than that. But right. You guys, you guys get but it. But they get really close to the planes, like, sc right. scary close. Yeah, but see. How did they get that footage, though? That's that's what I want to know. Dude. Wow. In the cloud? That thing's moving so fast, like nothing can move like that. Like I don't care what type of physics you got. <laughs> Is that the plasma kind? Right, well see the little ones that we see appear to be like plasma. Because every time I see videos like that, the little dots turn into some weird shape. But the ones we saw have never done that. They've right. only ever disappeared. So. You believe it? I don't like, who know. edits that, you know? <clears throat> and I'm not saying some of them aren't edited, but... That just Cylinder. looks like... Doesn't that look like just like an astronaut dro drop something? That's what you hope. That's what you hope yeah, it is. Yeah, look how steady it is, though. I know. Like, there's no way that's what it is, but that's what you just hope. That's huge, isn't it? It's almost like it disappeared or something. See, it broke the. The way the other one was falling was so much more steady than this one, though. Lightsaber UFO looking thing. In it. In Mexico? That looks like what we saw, right? Like an orb? Yeah, but is that like... Oh, wow. What's that? Which, I mean, obviously, which one are you implying? All three or just? No, no, no. Obviously, that looks like the military chasing something. Yeah, that's what the I thought too. The implications that yeah. the yellow thing is like a UFO. And guys, don't get me wrong. A lot of these could be fake. But my point is, is man, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos. And if you think of like the most popular like reaction video you can think of, there's not thousands of reactions to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like more people go out of their way to fake UFO videos than any type of video on the internet. And that just doesn't seem real to me. Like that don't seem... I wouldn't even be, I don't, I had it every day. I don't even know if I could make a convincing fake. Right. When it, Hey, when it comes to these though, is there a lot of people in the same place filming the same thing? Those are the ones I like the most, man. Multiple uh, eyewitness accounts. And yeah, there's tons oh, of okay. those. Like, there's okay. tons of them. Because I'm just seeing one at a time. I don't see it like from a different angle. So I feel like it would be more believable if you could see it like that. If I could, if I saw something like some of these, man, it would just enforce it more. But those orbs were something else, man. I'm telling y'all. It could be a drone. But that has to be like a huge drone though, right? That's what I'm saying. See, that just moved normal to me. Like things that move normal aren't so convincing. All right, there's four fighter jets right there.
Whew. That's the demon UFO. Look at that. That's not a UFO, bro. Like that's something. Like that is. Oh my gosh. And I, and I don't know. So many people are gonna be like, well. A lot of people are going to be like, well, obviously, you know, if something was coming in the sky, like the U.S. government monitors things coming into our atmosphere and NASA monitors things coming into our atmosphere. And, but, dude, the thing is, these things don't come into the atmosphere. They just seem to pop up when they right. want to. And they disappear like as they want to. It seems like they could be undetected to. if they wanted to. And it's like they're coming from another dimension. It's not yeah. like they're coming. And a lot of people say, and I can't stand when people be like, oh, well, how do UFOs get here if there's so many light years and blah, like all that's all that's boring thinking like if there's some type of energy field out there with you know zero point energy hypothetically this is all hypothetical in this sense right but why could things not bend the fabric of space and like move through space time to get to far places i mean that's what humans are working on i mean you can bet i bet dude is as conspiratorial as you think it is i guarantee it the brightest minds on this planet are working on that right now like that's all they're thinking about that and energy i mean energy is what the greatest minds think about right yeah let's go that's weird bro that looks like a wishbone or a. Looks like an angel. This thing. Slingshot. This is the one with. Remember, I was showing you this one before. I don't know about this one. Obviously, this is stabilized. This one has moving around like this. Because they stabilize all these images. That's why they look so weird. <laughs> a stingray? Mm mm. Mm, those things are ugly. They ain't got no hair. I know he was caught off guard too because he was like this. I mean, things are just popping up on radar, but. Oh, but they all popped up at once. Well, that's what those things do. They just pop up. That could be one of those. Oh, never mind. Mm-mm. That one could be editing. It's like an orb, man. Look at that shit. <laughs> That's another thing I look forward to. What do the people sound like? Because when I saw it, bro, I was over. I was I was bewildered. Yeah, they're just chilling. That's kind of weird, right? When people are just chilling, it's really like odd to me. Well, maybe they're just that used to it. Maybe it's not it's just another film to them. This is what it's like, bro. Yeah. yeah I like that. But they're higher, though. They seem yeah, to be yeah. higher. Yeah, they're like the size of the stars. You could almost say it's a star to me. Pointing it right at him. And now he's turning. Yeah. Yeah, you see him? Yeah. Does he have a laser pointer? I think he's got a moth on camera. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you toyed with them. It's your fault they're here. It's damn Ant Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's what we saw right there. 100%. <clears throat> Yeah, that's not what we saw. At least, you know, we weren't close enough to think that. And the thing is, is there just a phenomenon of people copying this? Like if one guy fakes a, like a plasma UFO like this, does another guy go behind him and just copy it and like just make another one? And then <laughs> the guy could just copycats that. Because if, if that's caught on camera, like what is that? You know what I'm saying? Right, but like what possesses you to be like, yo, I'm going to make some fake alien footage and post it. I don't know. I, you know, and most of these people, they're not. <laughs> Maybe for views. They're coming from just random users who don't upload stuff. Right. They just catch it and then they upload it. Right, you it. have to look into that too, I guess. Right. When we saw it, guys, it was almost like, it was almost like the UFO was posing as a star. And then that's how we would find it. We would look and then we'd stare into the stars. And then when we would see movement, one would move, like, yeah. exactly. It was almost like one would like come out of hiding, do his thing. And then when it was ready to stop, it would stop and it looked like a star. Yeah. It was like kind of like it, camouflage. Bro. I don't know, man. I don't know what it was. That one looks like a half bit cookie. Whoa, what was that black knot going up and down in it? Oh no.
Yeah, those just like silver spears are scary. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know how much of this music we're gonna have to cut. This could be a copyright problem, but if we have to mute it, guys, bear with us. What? Ain't no damn way. So it was kind of going slow. Did it just go plasma? Oh yeah. Why did everything just get dark around it though? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about that one. Well, I don't know about any of these to be honest, but. Dang, that could be a drone. Hey, that's a tic tac. I mean, you know, the government's obviously the government's always going to be forty years ahead of what the public knows. Yeah. Sure, but in forty years, are we going to have things that can go from sixty thousand feet to sea level in half a second? I don't know. I mean, nothing can do that. Yeah. What do you say about that? I don't know. I don't know, man. Probably real. This was one of my favorites. Look at this one. Yeah. You, you notice how it is belly up? It was belly up. Look at it. It looks like a like a stingray, right? Yeah. You, the one the Pentagon, guys. I'm so sorry. Bear with me, right? We're just passionate here, and I wanna I wanna tell her what we know, right? So that way you guys don't aren't thinking it. I wanna make sure I try to say it. The UFO or the Pentagon released a video, and this one where they're like, look at the ISO, it's rotating, and then he's like, whoa, got it? Or no, not that one. It was the it was the one you know where the thing rotates. You know what I'm talking about? Dang. I wish you, I wish I knew the name of it. Maybe like the Gimbit UFO or something. But have you seen the main one where like he's like it's rotating? He says it's rotating. Well, anyways, it's funny because these things seem to go belly up and then they move. So so they're flying like like a dolphin. Just the way they're and then it, that even goes to what Bob Lazar was saying. Even Bob Lazar was saying like thirty years ago that that's how these things move. They put their bellies up and they like aim towards their target and then they. He was basically saying that they're not moving through space and time. They're moving space and time to it. And so uh, we think they're moving, but really they're moving. Space yeah, because when we see them in all other things, they're like horizontal. Right. Guys, I'm not saying that I believe every single thing I'm saying, but what I'm trying not to do, I'm not trying to be like the annoying devil's advocate for the sake of the video, right? Some of these I don't think are real, but a lot of these, who knows? Ooh, let's do a triangle right there. Ooh. That's your favorite, the triangles. I love them. They scare the hell out of me. But did you see that orb up there? I saw an orb in it. Squatting. <clears throat> Whoa. Like if that's a drone, that thing's that thing's hauling ass, bro, and that's fast. I think we should register our drones, just so we know. Kind of like that. looks like a military video, because that was like night vision or something. Change yeah. of direction. Yeah, yes, the change of direction. Yeah, like that, exactly, yeah. exactly, That's exactly. very similar. Yeah. This one right here. Look, they're gonna look. This. See it rotating? What? That would freak me out. I know. Bro. Is there a reason there's a lot of them in South America? Because it's beautiful in South America. But is it like they they like like warmer climates or something? Well, to be honest, babe, there's a reason. Yeah, because the theory is that these things actually don't come from outer space. Uh, the theory is that they come from the ocean. So like they would go to the warmer part of the ocean, I guess, or whatever ocean in the South America. Well. I don't know, man. Like, because I'm America, noticing a lot, a lot of, of these land. are in South America. I, I don't know. This one, that's what I'm saying. This whole subject is extremely confusing. 
All I know is there's something to it. I don't know what it is, man. I'm not saying what I saw was a UFO or a de- I, it could definitely be a drone. But if it was a drone, we don't need to be having gas powered vehicles anymore because there's another type of technology and there's right. a better way. And the weird thing is just how like sensitive, uh, like just like media yeah, YouTube, is about it. Like I don't, I don't expect this video to do good because like unless you're Casper site, which by the way I do subscribe to him because I like his videos. He's entertaining. I did find him recently though, like maybe like a month or two ago. Unless you're like that dude bro or like that news nation junk that puts out videos which is weird because they're the only people doing it like youtube suppresses the hell out of ufo videos man they really do so they do not like people talking about it that's that's just a fact that's some good editing if that's editing because i don't know how to do that What? That is a common thing I'm noticing too. That same type of thing. That's not like I don't know what that is. That looks like a drone to me. And it looks, it looks like, like, like a fluttering, it's got, yeah. yeah. Or maybe they captured a big ass beetle. The world's <laughs> biggest beetle. Invisible without infrared. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, babe. A lot of these things you can only detect them with certain like signature detection systems. So like, the, like a lot of people need infrared or like uh, I watched this one video. It's probably fake, but the guy held up a piece of glass or something, and it was like, look, and then boom, there's UFOs, and you take the filter away, and you can't see them. Yeah, like, I mean, if you're a UFO, you poke like, yourself, right? We can't see a lot of things, like. It's possible. I mean, yeah, we only interpret like what two percent of true reality. Like, like if we were a bee, we would see what ninety something percent more color because we'd see like an infrared or ultraviolet or something like that. Like, we only see a small slither of what there is. To what see, if bees so. see like things like that? That's nuts. They might dog. Apparently, dogs see like ghosts and stuff. I, I I don't really believe in ghosts that much, but I don't know. Maybe you guys can send me some ghost stuff and convince me. Mm mm. Yeah, no. That's a damn attack right there. Yeah. That's got to be a drone system. That was like the damn halftime show <laughs> with Katy Perry or something. <laughs> Elon Musk. Oh, you see him? Yeah, see, when I see stuff like that, I think it's. I don't know what to think about that. Yeah, I don't they look like they're electronically say. controlled together, though. Like. <laughs> Like they're all linked together to blink like that, but what would it be? Yeah, that's a common thing too, the little three. And what is that laser they're shining? They're that's trying to I point it out. What is it, just a laser pointer? Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. If you see that, bro, you run. You run, run, run. Yeah, when you got the red thing in the middle, that means danger. Yeah, don't There's mess something with those. in there. That's dangerous. That's that's Sauron right there. <laughs> White man, that thing A would be so spinner? loud. That thing would be so loud if that was like government made. The propulsion system on that would have to have so much lift on it. Un, un, un no. Yeah, see this one right here, I'm not buying because. Mm -hmm. If there was a laser war, I would know about it. No, nah, this is just some 4th of July footage. The comment section is going to let us know so many facts about the origin of these videos and convince us that that's probably real. No. <clears throat> They didn't even say where they found this, the unknown. Well, what type of footage is this? Is this all editing? <laughs> oh, you see it down there? I don't know who can film the moon that good. But right. Sure so, can't. so the rover didn't see that? Well, if the rover saw it, you think you're going to see it? No, I don't even know what the rover sees.
How scary is that, though? Right, they're casting huge shadows. It looks like moon. moons to the moon. Baby moons. Yeah, those things would be huge. Oh, that's the... That grass Pokemon looking one. There's one that looks like that... Metapod? Weeping Bell or something like that. Oh. Metapod, yeah. Is that it? No, you're talking about... I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Pod UFO. That looks like the Easter Island head. It does. Maybe that's what it... Never mind. Let me not say anything like that again. Like, what is that? Well, this person's probably scared to death. Because why are you... If you're filming that... Bro, if you're scared there, of that UFO, then what you doing in that damn <laughs> thing? Because I ain't getting over there. Look, there's another one. Like, bro, what is that? Like, what is that? That's a tweet, bro. One would say it's a supply crate. Oh my gosh. Real or fake? That looks like a face. <laughs> That's scary. But do you notice how none of them really seem to like be the same as each other? Which kind of makes it seem like if people are faking them, it makes sense they don't ever look the same. What if we're just a museum to them? You saw it stop. Jeez. That's either aliens or the Quinjet. Hmm. Confusing me. TMZ. Oh, geez. Man, you know what that looks like to me? That looks like those lasers that can reach. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, where it's like, like when they're like trying to Atlanta, sell some of those wacky, have, wavy, inflatable arm yeah. tube bands. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. like trying to advertise them, like the. In Atlanta, they have them at like vape shops. It's like, <laughs> <with the lights>. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's like a vape UFO? <laughs> <It's> like a, <laughs> oh, geez. All right, here we go, guys. A lot of this junk, to be honest, I don't know what to think about it because they all seem, you know, and I understand that like the argument is going to be, well, the government is going to have. Like, don't get me wrong. I believe there's something going on wholeheartedly without a doubt. Something can fly in the air and can move in a way that would blow your freaking socks off, mate. Would blow your socks off, yeah. But the thing is, I just don't know what they are. And I don't know what the intention would be. And that's why, in my mind, bro, like, why would the government be testing it, like, severely, like, sophisticated drones in Lawrenceville, Georgia, while we're just chilling? And then her dad said something, right? Because we mentioned it to her parents, which they didn't believe us, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we, whatever. we know they So wouldn't. you know what he says? He goes, well, did anybody else see him? And I was thinking to myself, you know, no, but I can understand how maybe other people didn't see him, actually. Right. Because they were so tiny and they were up in the air. And if I wasn't really paying attention, like looking hard, I don't really know that I would have noticed it. Right. And like, I played outfield and stuff. I was always looking at the stars, never saw something like that. Right. And then this day, you and I both followed it together. Oh, yeah. We we're sitting there just 100%. Just like we weren't hallucinating. It wasn't no matter. Anyways, guys, so I don't understand what it is. That's they all look so different. Maybe, dude, maybe maybe they're just demons here to freaking make us all confused. Maybe there's no rhyme or reason to it. And it's just to put us in a panic state. I don't know. Maybe most of this junk's fake. Like I said, I'm trying to play devil's advocate. I'm not trying to play devil's advocate here. I'm not trying to sit there and debunk. I'm not sitting here playing the, cr the critic, man. I don't really feel like we necessarily need to play that role. But my idea is if it was a drone, why is it that close to air? the air people like the the air it wasn't a drone, bro. yeah but that when people like to argue that like what we saw they're like oh, it's, it's insulting it's almost like we wouldn't recognize a drone if we saw one right and like most drones that i know just go super high, high in the air and they glow really bright and they they just go it would have to glow so and they multiply. bright it couldn't just be like a ring light you That's know what, what i'm saying, saying. it would have to glow like oh my god yeah like i could set my car on fire and put it up there and i and probably it, yeah, wouldn't see yeah, it with yeah, my naked no. eye but i saw this it was star quality bright 
Some are staying still, some are moving. I don't know what this is. Well, it's on TMZ. It could be a vape shop. No going up to show that these are just live. I'm just making sure I'm this. Oh, someone else with the same kind of thing. Yeah, that just looks like looks like they're in Florida and there's just lights to me. Mm -hmm. They're just putting on a light show. Which kind of sucks because if that's an explanation of that, then that Wait, means what is that? I've seen this video a lot. Anybody tell me what that is? That looks like Musk. We're in the middle of the ocean. On a ferry. Middle of the ocean. Nothing around. Look. Nothing around. No land, no nothing. U.S. Navy. Triangle. That was the Pentagon release one, I think. Or a declassified one. Apparently, they have like 30 frames, 60 frames per second, 4K videos of these things, but they won't release them. That begs the question, why don't other people have them? That is a good question. So that little triangle is common, eh? The two balls rotating, is that what this one is? Oh my gosh. Like, what is that, y'all? Someone who's a complete skeptic and is just going to say it's all fake, it's all bullcrap, I'm an idiot. You explain to me what that is. Just tell me, what is it? Is it misinformation? And if so, like, where does that, where does that conspiracy lead? What uh, the F star star star? Question mark. That looks like something under a microscope to me. I know, that looks like a sea monkey. That looks like that a effect. Light. There's an effect where the atmosphere can take like buildings, like there can be buildings and the atmosphere can like bend the light and reflect the buildings in the sky. There's actually a phenomenon like that. That kind of looked like that's what it was to me. But it also kind of looked like what that guy saw over the ocean, which could also be the same phenomenon. It looked to me like stadium lights. Like, man, if there's if there's explanations, like, guys, please, I'm not sitting here, like, banging the, the drum for UFOs. Like, if there's an explanation, please let me know. I, I just need to know. It's kind of scary if it is UFOs. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, y'all. Synchronize. Splash, splash. Jeremy Corbell at Jeremy Corbell. I don't like this video because I don't like why it goes down so slow. Like if it's about to go home into the ocean, why is it moving so slow? <laughs> Just go. Maybe the portal's opening up. Like, I don't walk into my house that slow. Croatia. That thing's booking, cousin. Oh. Brother. I don't know about that. Whoa, got it. Oh. Did it just change colors? I think they changed the the oh, filter. Oh. Yeah. And you, what's significant about those videos is we're too stupid. Like I'm personally too stupid, but there's so many numbers that we just don't understand what they mean. But smarter people than us, those numbers are significant. So unless this is like faked, you know what I'm saying? Then those numbers are a lot of what's really phenomenal and freaky about this video. But I don't understand the numbers. Rod what? UFO. There's something called a rod. It went in the volcano?
I mean, the government could easily send some type of missile to go inside of a volcano to like collect samples or something. Right. Or just see what kind of materials can hang out over it. Right. But it's those bends and those curves that freak me out. Like, how can something? Or how they're still surviving after they go over it. That's very right. hot. Yeah, that was like a light show to me. Uh uh. Hmm. I don't know about that. This is in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, baby. Oh, damn, that's a triangle. What? Looks like a paper hat on it. Yeah. <gasps> Plasma UFO. Like I've seen this video so many times, man. So, I, you know, I've just seen it so many times to me that it's like, well, of course it's real because I've seen it so much, but it could just be a fake video that's went around that much. S same thing. It looks like a dreidel. That's what I'm saying. Somebody must have took the other video, saw it, liked it, got the idea to copy the same. Like he cropped out the damn image and faked a whole nother video with the same exact UFO. Why would or you want to do that? Why would there. you even want to do that? For real. Like, it's not that serious. The Tesseract. Man, see, that's the thing, babe. This freaking guy in the in the in the Air Force came out and he said he saw a spear inside a cube. They're in the middle of an interview and that happened. Bro, every time there's a UFO, some dude's got a laser pointer. I need to keep one in my pocket. Whoa! Y'all better stop pointing lasers. What if they think you're shooting? That was like lights on a boat or something. Never mind. What the heck? It's got to be fake, right? I mean, that I would know. that would make national headlines around the world, wouldn't it? Would it not? Yeah. You think? You would think. What is that? This is aliens. This sheep, I tell you. Yes, yes, I'm really sorry, but just because I was talking with them. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't like those, bro. Those freak me out. So it's good to know when that comes down, I'm going to be right here doing this. And you're like, imagine, imagine you're riding down the road and you see that. Like, are you kidding me? It's got to be fake, man. It's got to be fake. Well, how the heck aren't all those people freaking out then? I'd so crash my damn. That sounded oh, real. See, that's yeah, what I'd say. That's what I would say too, almost. That's. It'll be dang near close. I might be dumb, but is that like the Pentagon or something? Yep. What is that building? There's just no way. Everyone would have got that on video. <laughs> Look at them. They're like, we're going to steal all y'all's secrets. They, maybe ha, ha, people did. We're stealing all oh, your secrets, slow America. Slow down. Hey, got to be fake. Yeah, man. A lot of this started with the, Ru with the Soviets and stuff. Like, Russia has a lot to do with UFO war and history because... Apparently, that's what had a lot to do with World War II and stuff, and the Cold War, pyramid over the Kremlin. The Kremlin. Yeah, you don't know what the Kremlin is? Oh, baby, we got a lot to learn on this channel. <laughs> the Kremlin, of Russia, oh, the Russia. Faker, Faker, real. I don't know because it was over the Pentagon. Now it's in Russia. 
If there's one in China, it might be real. Because maybe it, it's like, I don't know, spies. My thing is like, dude, get a better camera, please. And they have a droid, 100% they have a droid. This would be at night when the ISO is going to be so jacked up and it's going to be all grainy and stuff, you know? Like, if this was during the day, like, it'd be a lot easier to tell if it was fake, basically. Man, I'd get out the car if I saw that. I wouldn't keep driving. Maybe in Russia they'll be. Uh uh, right. Beijing, shut up. Oh, you think it's just all the world powers? I think, yeah, I think it's, it's either they're spying on each other or someone's spying on them. Because it's over, like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Why are you over the Pentagon? Yeah, there she is right there. That old familiar oh, sight. That's a UFO for sure, guys. <laughs> oh my God. We are See, that's low. That's low. It's under the clouds. What we no saw was. It just felt higher, man. And it could have been lower. I don't know. But it seemed high, didn't it? That's scary. Yeah, because what, what are what are y'all releasing? They're like pooping on our planet, bro. No, they're releasing some chemicals. And my thing is, babe, if there is some type of drone that looks like an egg that can fly that fast, do you know what type of battery that sucker or charger? No way. Oh, they're playing that uh, Splatoon game. I don't Heat believe game. you guys. Nah, I ain't buying this one, cuz. Mm mm. Nope. Oh, those are the police officer UFOs. You gonna pull somebody over? <laughs> what? They're blinking. They have blinking light. How is that? Man. But you see, they were near an airplane. Like we said. That's what they do. And this is shot at 60 FPS of the ISS. Oh, they're chasing it. Like, tell me that's just not a piece of debris that fell off the ISS and it's just caught in the same rotational pool. Nope as a satellite that could easily just be a space rock though or a piece of debris real or fake i i don't know what to say about that This music is motivating me to go look up at the sky, though. I mean, if that thing like turns off or something, I'll believe it's something, but yeah, this better do something. Thing moving, ain't it? It kind of looks like a drumstick. A drumstick? What like a chicken about? drumstick, huh? Oh, like a chicken wing? I mean, it's obviously changing its pace. The pace is different than the satellite. Now it looks like a peanut. Oh. I wish they would back the camera back up. So I can see what's going on. Like I don't like how they done this. Man, I don't know what that is, cousin. Okay. Is that it?
Well, I mean, shoot, guys. So we checked out the compilation. I know that on this channel, there's like, I think he's got like nine or something. So I've only seen the first couple. Mrs. Doc Server hasn't seen any of them. We're going to knock out all of them eventually. Babe, what do you think about most of these videos? Like, what's your gut feeling after watching that? Were most of them fake or most of them real? Is there um, something to it? Are we well, idiots? I just feel like, I don't really know because I think we're, for us, when we were trying to film it, it was just so hard. And I feel like some of these homemade ones, that's really hard to get, but I feel like some of these military ones might be accurate. But I feel like, why would you make it up? But the ones me, the military seem to capture aren't very convincing. Like, okay, so the military showed us, the Navy showed us that there was a drone, and then there was one that we captured. And these these are the most least, the ones that come from the government are the most least convincing of all the videos. So the idea is maybe they have significantly better ones, and they're only showing us Really? I think worst. the government ones were more convincing to me. Because they were from the government? Yeah. Probably. I don't like the government. I don't <laughs> trust them. That's well, yeah, bad. that probably. It was probably like, you know, a reliable source. <laughs> my thing is, I feel like... Well, so you say. <laughs> I feel like my thing is, like, if, if the government wanted to fake... So the thing is, guys, if all this stuff is fake, if there's nothing to it, I, I don't I don't buy that it's another country. I know people go, oh, it's China. Like, I get it, right? Pro dude, prob probably not, bro. Like, it's probably not China. Like, if you knew anything about why China wanted to invade Taiwan, because they sell a lot of microchips there, and it's basically a technological advancement for China to try to invade Taiwan, because Taiwan produces a lot of really advanced microchips. And I'm not talking about, like, the shit that goes on, like, your cell phone. I'm talking about, like, microchips that control weapons and fighter jets and stuff like that. So I just don't see it, man. I still, I still believe in my heart of heart. The United States is the world superpower and the world's leader when it comes to technological advancement, especially in warfare, weaponry, drone, like drones, things like that. And dude, if these things aren't real, then the flip side of that coin is just as interesting and right. just as sinister to me, man. Like, you know what I think, though? What do you think, I feel like I feel like, you know, over the years, like drones have been like slowly like creeping up into like, you know, even as everyday recreational. We use. went to the beach, man, and a drone was over my head yeah. spying on us. And so it kind of seems like they're, it's kind of been conditioned to where anything you really see in the sky can boil down to the answer being, oh, it's a drone now. So that's the part that's like kind of weird because like. But what doesn't change is the physics of propulsion. Yeah. Yeah. But that's right. But what I'm saying is that's everyone's answer now, because as a society, we've just allowed like, you know, a lot of people to recreationally use them or use them for videos. Right. And, all oh, that I see kind what you're of saying. Stuff. Yeah, it's like so numbers to the idea that yeah, anything, that's the, that's the whole thing, right? Like someone could show me a 4K video of the most amazing spacecraft I've ever seen, and I, the more convincing it is, the less I'm going to believe it, right? Because I'm like, oh, okay, well, you, that's just obviously Premiere Pro. Like you pay for the top line editing service. I feel, but I know what you mean. It's like, bro, it's weird. I feel man. like a lot of things in life, like they've slowly like just grown on us. Like for example, internet. Like when we were younger not existent right. now it's like every day we use it 24 7. well i think what's crazy is i do believe like for example remember when the guy in the video he saw the orb and he was like oh yeah that's a ufo that's 100 percent." remember he believes yeah like that guy out there is gonna watch this video and he's gonna be like that was me brother i'm mm -hmm. with you right yeah. and i appreciate you my dog but listen the point that i'm the point is like this guy believes but he didn't freak out he didn't scream he didn't have a mental breakdown we're conditioned yeah like we're like we're ready like we're ready so when I saw UFOs, don't get me wrong, dude, it blew my freaking mind. I remember we went and we ate at this our, our little Chinese spot we go to, <laughs> Loki, and we went to our little <laughs> restaurant and we got completely isolated from everyone in the restaurant. They always put us in the white people section <laughs> and they put us in there all by ourselves. But and, Loki, we like it. We don't care. Yeah, they play lots of Taylor Swift and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we always get isolated in there and we're just sitting there and we're just thinking to ourselves, all these people live in this city, and if they all would have saw that sh junk that we would have seen last night, like they probably wouldn't be chilling so easy. Yeah. And it was just an ominous feeling, man, because... It was on our minds heavy for a few months after that, yeah. I lost my train of thought earlier, but basically the point that I'm having is when that drone went over my head, which figured out, obviously you're in your bathing suit, so it was probably some pervert with a drone trying to look at you in your bathing suit, or maybe trying to look at me in my bathing suit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, this drone was low and it was about 30 40 feet over my head but i heard it yeah so i looked up and then as it flew in the air it got it got to where it was probably 100 feet in the air and i could right. hear it yeah and the fans on it probably it. weren't this big you know and it had four fans on it and it was probably a drone about this and big. it was still but it was small loud. but it was still small 
Yeah. Like, yeah. like what we saw was huge, obviously. It looked like it was the size of like. It was either huge or put off like the craziest light you can imagine. Yeah, it was either a lot smaller and it was low. And for some reason we couldn't record it. And it was a lot lower because it was a lot smaller than we thought. Or it was really high in the air and it was just so far away. But my gut instinct, man, it almost it was it was pretending to be stars. Like I know yeah. that sounds so it looks like, yeah, say, it literally looked it was like just posing as stars, yeah. bro. When it, when it felt like blowing my mind, it would. And it was just, it was weird, man. It was weird. I would really recommend that if you're someone who just is skeptical about this type of thing, if, and dude, you might do it for six months and not see nothing. But dude, when you go outside, go somewhere dark and just stare at the stars and just find a star, focus on it hard, but keep your eyes open. And once you start seeing movement out the corner of your eye, go But go somewhere it, where there's airplanes though. Cause I've realized. You think so? For us, we're two for two under airplane spots. Shoot, you can come to my crib. Yeah, we'll stand on the back porch. Look yeah, at them. for real. I, dude, dead serious. When we saw him on our back porch, I went and I grabbed, well, at the time he was eight, but I went and I grabbed him out the shower and I was like, bro, come Yeah, here, we come called here, our eight year old and he was like, I'm naked, but we, we wanted to make sure we weren't just making this up in our head. And he totally saw it. And I don't sit there and try to talk to him about this or convince him. Yeah, but, no, I mean, he saw what he saw, <laughs> yeah. so he believes in it. But, you know, I don't try to freak him out because, you know, he's just a kid. Honestly, now, though, he was more accustomed, he was more chill with the idea than we were, which was like, like we yeah. said, the conditioning. It's, it's like, right, yeah. It's like eventually he's gonna go to school with aliens or something. I'm just kidding. But, like I know, said, man, I'm not it's just saying a conditioning. Like we're getting more used to the idea. Like I'm not someone who propose. I don't think that there's tons of alien civilizations and yada 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 and everyone and their uncle's been abducted. And man, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is these people that get on TV and they they go to Congress and they say there's something in the sky that we can't identify that moves in a way that we don't understand. These people are either are so part of a deep state that that should really concern you. And that in itself is very entertaining and a conspiracy and a whole separate video or either they're actually sort of telling the truth like these people record and see things that they can't really explain the way they move and maybe just maybe there's something to it but all i know man is what i saw is what i saw so whether it was alien china <laughs> you know what i'm Demons. saying the good old usa baby come on uh <laughs> shout out to casper site i don't know what the heck it was man but all i know is the way that it moved was unlike anything that i've ever even considered to be possible and like you said flowing but to me it moved like kind of like a butterfly like it was like unpredictable like it was like, swing. well, mine was like a fish. It, like yeah, it would come a fish, and it would like, it would, it would chill and then it'd get scared and then it would dart yeah. off and come back and then it would swim. And, and a, <laughs> you know, like a fish can go really fast and just stop. Like it, it kind of looked like it was just having a fun time. It was almost like the atmosphere wasn't the atmosphere, it was water or something. And it was swam in that thing. Like right. Damn like fish. it wasn't fighting against anything. It was like chilling up there. It right. was like, not that it's water. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I know a lot of people are going to be like, hey, thanks, it's the firmament. No, bro, <laughs> that is not what I'm saying. So don't be trying to twist my damn words. What I'm saying is <laughs> it moved crazy, bro. That's really all I can say. So um, happy Alien Day, man. That's just our story. And like I said, it's something that we haven't really shared a lot on this channel because well, we because most people will be like, you're cuckoo. You're making, well, I mean, you're yeah. a liar. We, we do movie yeah. reactions on our other channel. And like, we've reacted to like arrival at this point, interstellar. And that's really all the alien stuff we've done, but oh, we watch signs, but we, uh, we were really we watch signs, but okay, guys, we do know that signs isn't about aliens it's about signs. Okay. Yeah. We we're know. just young and dumb and just more overwhelmed. with trying to record a YouTube video at the time and actually <laughs> focusing on the movie. Okay. We weren't very good at YouTube. We're still not. We're learning. <laughs> uh, basically, man, we just, we've never really shared it. To be honest, we've never shared it with our audience. You know, we're right. And like most of the time when we do, people don't believe us or they just say it's a drone. Or True. a lot of times people are just like, yeah, I believe it, man. Yeah. I think there's all kinds, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's an interest. And I'm like, yeah, I appreciate that you believe it, but that's not really like, you know, I'm trying to have, like, I want to have a deep ass conversation, dude, because I saw what I saw and it was weird. Like it really changed a lot. And if we could film that perception. and show everyone, I would be like, let's talk about this. But like, we couldn't, we tried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just one of those things, man. We haven't really shared it because it kind of it's one of those things when people are skeptical, a part of you sort of like it's almost like you tell someone something really intimate about something terrible that happened to you. Not necessarily that it was terrible, but and then they just don't believe you. Yeah, it kind of like has that feeling. So, yeah, it's something that we just don't talk about. But we do have a reaction channel now. And I personally, I just want to react to UFO content a lot. And this was my way of breaking the ice because we were both interested in the subject. And we do a lot of comedy over here. But we'd like to get into that a little bit, too, because we're just trying to react to anything that's cool or yeah. interesting or philosophical or will make us think or will make for a good, entertaining video. Like I said, man, this is one of our deepest interests because it's something that we've experienced and it was bizarre. Yeah. And if you don't, I mean, if you don't mind us saying, like, you're someone who didn't really give a lot of thought to much 
before that yeah like, especially when it comes to like you know like you would definitely focus on like trying to be a good person and going through your life and making good decisions and working but you would never think about like philosophy or anything like that but maybe like that changed a little bit that day for you yeah i'd say 100%. It, it definitely did it opened my perspective to a lot because you know i realized like we're we're here and we're us but like if you just realize how big the world and and then you think how big the universe is like how can it not be that there's other things like it, it would be so, such a waste i guess such a waste of like little space well my thing is like if i'm a the way i like to think about it is if i'm a, a video game character inside of a video game you know i could explore this free roam game for forever and it, there's so much to it and then i could really try to understand what makes my reality oh it's code inside of but then once i really tried to understand other systems inside of a computer like maybe a whole different game or maybe how the internet works or you know because we just use the interface you know but if you were inside of a video game and you actually really tried to understand every aspect of what truly made a computer like the true reality of what was going on i mean it's just too big and that's how i think reality is man i think that reality is just a system built upon layers of other realities mm -hmm. and somewhere out there there's a base reality where something else is built on top of it and i just think there's just a lot going on in the universe man and i don't i, I don't think everything you see is exactly every i mean obviously not i mean there's electrons and all kinds of stuff that we can't see physically and you know those things interact with each other and have you know they can communicate with each other and all kinds of stuff and like we have thoughts like that that type of stuff's not physical i don't know what it is so right. just very weird video man thank you guys so much for hanging out we just want recommend to check out more cool stuff. stuff like this if you can guys if you're interested in this type of stuff please hit us up on yeah hit us up on discord yeah, yeah. guys we got a discord drop videos i know a lot of people probably have like ring door cam videos and just cool stuff so if you got anything sick man 300 percent send it over and we'll archive that bad boy and one day we'll pull them out when we have enough footage and we'll make a video on it but yeah yeah, guys, this was just our story. Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh. what is it like this? <laughs> oh, happy Alien Day. I don't know what that means for you.